Established in 2014 out of Garth Webb Secondary School, our team debuted in the 2015 season. We participated in the game Recycle Rush, and as a rookie team, we put in all the effort to build our robot. The games consisted of the robots picking up and stacking totes on scoring platforms, putting litter inside recycling containers, and putting those containers on top of the scoring stacks of totes. Our two regional competitions we competed in were the Arkansas, Rock City Regional, and the North Bay Regional, where we won the Rookie All-Star Award. Our robot that year was named Larry. The reasoning behind the name was just because our principal at the time was named Larry. The next season in 2016, First Stronghold had the robots playing a medieval tower defense game. The way to win was to breach the opponent's outer works, weaken the tower's defenses with boulders, and then capture the tower. The robot we built for this season was affectionately called Hope, as it actually didn't work, and they needed all the hope they could get. Anyway, 2017 brought us first Steamworks, a steampunk-themed game where each alliance had to shoot fuel into a simulated boiler which would take the transferred steam into the airship in the middle of the field. This middle field airship was also loaded with gears from the field. Teams would then climb and hang on a rope attached to the airship for endgame. Our robot that year was Tonka, a stout robot named after the brand Tonka, which made toy trucks that were nearly indestructible, and the robot we made was Tonka Tough. 2018 Power Up, a retro 8-bit themed game where alliances use power cubes to control switches and a scale, by putting power cubes through the exchange, you can gain power-ups. Endgame was ascending the scale to face the boss. Our robot was called Juno after our high school's mascot, as our school is named after Garth Webb, a Canadian World War II veteran who fought on Juno Beach and helped found the Juno Beach Center. In 2019, Destination Deep Space, a game where alliances placed hatch panels and cargo onto their rockets and cargo ships before climbing their HAB platform during Endgame. Our robot Vimy, named after the Battle of Vimy Ridge in World War I, tied the bot back to our school and team. Twenty twenty was the year of Infinite Recharge, a game based around a city theme where the alliances had to shoot power cells into high and low goals, which would activate the shield generator after a certain amount of power cells are loaded, and the alliance manipulates the control panel in their respective trench runs. The end game consisted of all the robots either parking under or climbing the shield generator. Our robot for the year was Ortona, named after the Battle of Ortona, a battle that took place during World War II. We had just started getting to competitions when everything was shut down. COVID-19 had hit over March break, shutting not only the competitions down, but everything else too. During this weird time, FRC decided that hopefully everything would be normal again soon, so the 2021 game was the same as 2020 for all the teams who weren't able to compete due to COVID. Twenty-two was looking up. Most of us were back in school, at least a little bit at the time, and we were able to be in small groups again. This game was Rapid React, where the bots had to shoot cargo into a central hub that had both higher and lower goals, and would later climb a hangar where each higher bar was worth more points. Our robot was named Dunkirk after the evacuation of Dunkirk in World War II, which was the evacuation of all the spies in Europe. The competitions were still limited in size, and masks were still required, but our team managed to win all three of our district events at Humber College, York University, and St. Mary Catholic Secondary School. We did well enough to qualify for Worlds, but due to pandemic rules, we weren't allowed to leave the country, so we weren't able to attend the championship that year. 2023 Charged Up was a return to normalcy, a game where the robots had to pick up and place cubes and cones onto grids, earning points, and by creating links, you could earn more points. During the end game, the alliances had to get onto the balance board and balance it before the time ran out. The more robots you had on the board, the more points you would get for endgame. Our robot was named Bishop after Billy Bishop, a Canadian flying ace in World War I. Not only fighting in World War I, he also fought in World War II. We competed our hardest at Provincials as we wanted to get to Worlds. And as we were on the bus ride home from Provincials, we got the results. What's the news? Dude. <laughs> what's, we're, we're going to Worlds. We're going dude. to Worlds. Yusuf, what's the news? We made it to Worlds! We had made it. Traveling to Houston was an experience. Spending two days on a bus with 50 people can get a little much. You see, oh my God, the dawn's early. We arrived early to the championship, so we visited a few places first. We were competing in the Milstein division and were excited to compete. Overall, the competition was amazing with many experiences and a lot of robots.
this year's season, 2024, was Crescendo. The game involved picking up notes and scoring it in the speaker or amp. Alongside these components, there was the stage, which was used for Endgame. Our robot this year was named Stormont after the HMCS Stormont K327, a Royal Canadian Navy frigate. The ship participated in safeguarding North Atlantic convoys and ensuring the safe transport of essential supplies and troops between North America and Europe during World War II. Our season was pretty crazy, from driving to North Bay, the fire alarm at McMaster going off, and the wild excitement of provincials. It's been a crazy 10 years.